and in this video I'm going to show you how to update RetroArch on the old original K9 drive. So head on over to RetroArch, the link is down below in the description, click on download, scroll down and click download 64-bit. Once that's downloaded, just extract it and put it on your desktop. So here it is. And now we are going to open up. Uh, hang on, sorry, open this up. And we're going to put that on this side. And then we're going to go to our hard drive. So go to Hyperspin, uh, Attraction, Arcade, Emulators, and obviously make a backup first, just in case. So this is my backup folder. And this is the folder I'm going to mod. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight everything except saves. So it won't go over your save files and uh, states. So save states and just drag and drop. Oh, <laughs> do that again. Drag it all over and drop. And just let it replace everything. Once that's done, as you can see, you can now open up .exe here, and we are on the latest 1.19.1. So we are on the latest version. If you go back to the website, you will see the latest version is 1.19.1. Go back, 1.19.1. And that is how you update RetroArch on your Kinai drive. But before we go, I also suggest for people, update your cores, always update the cores. So go to Online Updater and update installed cores. Always do this. Every so often, maybe every month or so, update your cores, just in case. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And like always, have a lovely day.